so i have just experienced the white girl smirk which if you haven't experienced the white girl smirk it's basically when a girl who may be blonde haired and blue dyed looks you in the eye like like not just that she's better than you but that she has caught you by your toe in the sense of for some reason she feels that she's morally superior to you in a way that she thinks she can articulate but really what she's doing is like subtle racism and it's gonna make you cry and then she'll laugh at you and smirk i just experienced that with a girl that i thought was a friend and if i cry during this uh sorry i'm a pisces okay so listen i believe that every see here's the thing when people say oh don't believe your anxiety what about when your anxiety is right you know what i mean like i had a feeling that this girl was gonna cause some strife in my life like her and one of my friends who like was my close friend and now i'm not sure how i feel they're both white and at the moment they're both blonde haired blue eyed one of them understands the impact of that the other would like to feign ignorance and we're all from durham so let's be serious let's just be serious when it comes to something regarding race politics whatever you know what i mean and the thing is both of these girls are very um elusive in the sense of their attention comes and goes with the wind and that's okay like many of us are like that but they are super duper like that and it was just very funny to have them like feign caring about my well-being and i was like okay but a month ago i told you that people were telling me to and you didn't care <laughs> you didn't care i told you and you were like oh sorry i just saw this and i'm like okay so the fact that you said like 24 hours later oh sorry i'm just seeing this after i said hey i'm having a really hard day because people are saying x y z a b c d e f g to me and i'm just having a really hard time and then 24 hours after the fact, you're like, oh, sorry, I just saw this. You don't think that has anything to do with anything? Like, my thing is I really hate when people are like, oh, my God, I'm so there for you. I'm so there for you. But, like, when you are knocking on their door, when you are ringing their doorbell, when you're calling their phone, are they there for you? No, they're not. But... Guess who's the first one to play white savior? I really hate when I come to someone with an issue, when the issue is hot on the stove and they don't really give a fuck, you know what I mean? But then in this particular situation, almost a month after the fact, they're coming to me like, oh, you know, we're concerned because of how you behaved at the beach day which was a month ago when hundreds thousands of people were telling me to and i said that and i told that to them but they are like you know when people don't understand that they're actually quite self-absorbed and they they think that they're like really attentive but really they're like quite they don't really let other people's stuff in it's really mostly their own stuff and then every once in a while they'll let other stuff in and then they use that to be like i'm a good person but like bro i told you i've been i've been telling you and now I've, i just it just felt very disingenuous to me the way it came about and it just felt very like especially because you guys one of these so there's two people that kind of um i don't know made me question our friendship today one of them more than the other for sure for sure one of them more than the other like one of them actually condescended me and like i felt like really spat on my spat in my face 
um when in regards to like racial president prejudice and um just being like oh you othered yourself were i think her exact words you othered yourself when i pointed out the fact that homegirl got a coffee and she brought a glass of water for other homegirl i got nothing and she was like well sadie texted me blah 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 and i was like well last time i texted you you didn't respond so this is part of my and i was like this is just an example of why i feel othered like why i feel not actually super in the group and i was like i understand you guys are closer and like you're both blonde hair blue eyed homegirl started to smirk the smirk i can't the rage that i felt with the smirk and if you understand that please comment down below and articulate to me because i can't i don't know how to articulate it but it really enraged me and i did start to get really upset and she started to say you othered yourself you othered yourself and she started to speak over me and be really condescending and i definitely started to yell and maybe scream and she was like you don't get to scream other over other people meanwhile she's yelling over me with her freaking she doesn't understand that she be, she's being racially prejudiced she doesn't understand that like the othering is natural when it's like two blue-eyed blonde-haired fair-skinned girls telling this other girl that she's not be behaving right she's not behaving the same meanwhile when i reach out and say hey i'm not feeling so good they're nowhere so i don't know but i think it's hard to when you hang out with scorpions you're gonna get stung and it's been very difficult for me to not feel othered in pwis or pwe's primarily white environments and people are going to deny you that um acknowledgement of the fact that it is different and it is harder and it is it is different when yeah so and so who went to your school who looks like you is gonna ask you for an extra cup of water and you already didn't answer me but you're acting like I, oh it's my fault that i didn't text you and ask for a water to a place that i didn't know you were going because you didn't tell me because you don't even answer me and then that becomes my fault and then you get to condescend me and speak down to me and be like oh i have to go to work and basically spit at me and and run away like you are morally superior and um all i'm trying to say is that it's it can be hard you guys it can be hard as a person of color to be in a place that is predominantly predominantly white in a friend group that is predominantly white it can be difficult and i just want to validate that because today it really shot me through the harder and re made me really reevaluate my whole life i just want to i don't know start the conversation because if you guys are feeling like that like it actually really really sucks it really really sucks and i want you to know that you're not alone and that i cried a lot today i cried a lot today and it's hard bro it's hard it's hard and i feel you and i get it and i'm sorry that you're feeling this feeling because i'm feeling it and it really sucks to feel isolated and to try to explain your isolation and therein vie for your humanity in a way that you shouldn't have to do just to make friends it sucks bro it sucks and i know how much it's <laughs> so yeah i would love any comments you guys have because <sighs> today was not good was not good and I felt very betrayed and one of these two people was hired by me on a project that literally just finished 
last week and so I feel very used because I feel like they were talking about it behind my back and talking about me behind my back and she was keeping it quiet just so she could keep a job and still be paid by me and it feels it feels really gross it's really gross and it feels really hurtful and it's hard <sighs> I, and I hate it I hate it a lot. <laughs>